Acabó la Copa del Mundo. México queda eliminado del Mundial en primera fase, cosa que no sucedía desde hace muchos, pero muchos, pero muchos años. Hoy se esforzó, pero no alcanzó. Que este intento de épica no borre lo que... Uh, México yeah. is out of the World Cup. And it, it sucks. It's the first time we ever see them not make it out of the group stage. In my life, have I not Seen them play a round of 16? I've never not seen them win enough to make it to the round of 16. In my life, have I seen such stupidity from the managerial side? This isn't a thing that's it's totally on Tata. He has a lot to do with it. But this is a deep-rooted institutional cancer of a problem that Mexico has and and, and, and and it's and it's most joyous and 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 you know even celebrated like people think of Mexico they think of soccer people think of soccer they think of Mexico like not not the fact that we haven't had a single game that's a of, of any sort of importance in the World Cup because we can't even get to the fifth game. We can't even get to the fourth game. The U.S. is running circles around Mexico. Mexico is the third best nation in CONCACAF when it comes to soccer. Mexico decepcionó. Mexico made a lot of people sad today. But if you weren't sad before... Some, you're probably part of the problem. And, and and the thing is, right, we knew this was going to happen. We said it. We said, we it. said it before. We've been said it, it for years. Tie against Poland. Lose to Argentina. You beat Saudi Arabia. And, and, and it's still it was not Go enough. Go back years. People like don't yeah. like when we talk about Mexico because we say, like, it's coming. Like, the destruction of Mexico as a... As a Powerhouse selection. Powerhouse selection. And, and that's not even the powerhouse. Conca the powerhouse. The Conca Cup powerhouse. Like, it's over. It's over. Unless they the can The first up. game. <sighs> yeah. No. You, you go ahead, win a Gold Cup next year. Go ahead, win a whatever next year. Go ahead, win the Nations League. Go for it. Go for it. Win all that. Fucking pointless crap. And, and it's fans like us that still get the illusion that... You know what? Maybe we maybe we can beat France if we make it. We we could. We were up this two nothing. If you play like you played, why don't you start playing like that from the start, dude? We've been saying like, imagine if if maybe we knew what we're talking about and and half the people on Earth saying you shouldn't be starting H H, you shouldn't be starting Guardado, you should be starting Edson every game. If you start What? Edson in the second game against Argentina, Argentina might not score two on you. They might score one. You might still lose. But the goal differential, that's, that's what it went down to. It was going to go down to yellow cards. Yeah. They were eliminated either way with the fair play rule because it's the same way Senegal went out in 2018. If it's, it's, if you guys have the same points, tight end points, tight end uh, head-to-heads, tight, tight everything, and it goes down to a fair play, uh, a yellow cards, whoever plays a cleaner game. But that, that, that's not even the point. The first game... You should have beat Poland. If you played the way that you played against Saudi Arabia and were as clinical Poland. as you were in that second half in, 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 in any part of the Poland game, you get you get a win there. You, I, and, 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 and you're in. That's it. You're in. Yeah, you were gonna you, lose to you, you, you were gonna lose to Argentina. Yeah, but you put Orbelin Pineda, a more attacking player from instead of HH and, and and look at the impact. Like you scored. You scored goals in this game. You freaking won the game. Again, we should have beat Poland. We should but with have six Poland. points, we would have been through. I'm, maybe in first place. I mean, yeah, because I mean, Saudi Arabia still beat Argentina. Like that's that's not anything that changed. I mean, even in this first half, like even in the first half of Saudi Arabia Mexico, like it, yeah, they had were a little bit more energized. They were playing a little bit more defensively, but there were still chances that you had that you didn't take. You could have at least been at least. One or two up in that first and half. And the thing is, we didn't have those chances in the first two games. They weren't there. They weren't there. It was just, it was different than you, you had Edwin Lozano, Chucky trying to trying to do his stuff and, 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 and not contributing. 
Uh, it's um, Ochoa was fresh as hell this entire game. It's it's just heartbreaking, right? Because again, I've always seen Mexico playing the round of sixteen. We're so spoiled. We don't even know what it's like missing a World Cup. I wish they would have missed this fucking World Cup, man. And that's the thing. They're not going to... I I said, going into it, I wish... I see Henry Martin just giving us hope. As soon as the second half started. Like, that that hope. That's what I've been talking to you about. Like, at this point, we thought there was a chance. We had that glimmer of hope. That's why I like the World Argentina Cup. Argentina had scored two. If... If Canelo doesn't talk shit. talk shit to Messi, he scores that goal. Messi scored that. <laughs> it's on Canelo. I mean, he's not the best. It's all Canelo's penalties. fault. I told you, I'll beat the shit out of Canelo. Like <sighs> Henry Martin playing the game of his life, and you take I'm him sorry, out. Sorry, but fucking, it's always in the World Cup where Mexican league players outperform everyone else. Everybody else. Luis Chavez was our best player this World Cup. Luis Chavez, like he shined. Like if there's, if there's the equivalent of how Tyler Adams is shining in, in it's Luis the U.S. Chavez. is Luis Chavez. And and you called this game. You called the score. The corner kick. I said, dude. We've you called here. the corner we've kick. Score here. And then this free kick. What did I tell you? We're Look at work this watching. distance, though. Like you can't even see. I, it. And I told you, is he la mete de aquí, we? What's up, CJ? <laughs> you told me no. Like, there's there's no way. It no was way, this. way too long, uh, way too far away. But and he almost scored another he one. Almost too. scored another one. And then there was a third free kick that, for some reason, Chucky took. No, he kind of like backheeled it past, and then it was no. Like, there was another oh, one. The, on the, the, on the there was another yeah, one. Yeah, that yeah. little backheel one. Well, I was kind of mm-hmm. dumb yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Minute 53, we're still in hopes. Chucky scored one. He was we're offside watching. too. You got, you got the goalkeeper for Saudi Arabia, who's Melanin and Borat, playing really well, but his team was done. Saudi Arabia was just giving up. It was such a terrible team. Yeah. No, and, it was, and you wonder how this team beat Argentina, right? But what a free kick, man. Luis Chavez, he's Europe bound. He That's one be- of the greatest goals in Mexico history in the World Cup. Yeah. Hands down. Borghetti, sure. I mean, Top five uh, for sure. Qua- Qua- Luis Arco Cuauhtémoc in 98 was good. Oh, man, dude, it's just so painful because we got that, that glimmer of hope again and we thought, wow, we're really going to maybe pull this off. And I would have much rather Mexico lose than Argentina come out. Yeah, I, at- yeah, at this point, just lose. <sighs> And then eliminate Argentina. Argentina's out of the World Cup. By the time they were tied, so it wouldn't have mattered because Argentina won. So True. But it, it, it's... Why couldn't we play like this from the start? Why did Tata... Why did Tata have to wait to this game to try to fix everything this way? Even then, right? Like, you go all out, you throw in Funes Mori there. And why the fuck is he still playing Antuna? You <laughs> didn't call Ines. You nope. call Santi. Like, Ines instead of Antuna would have been a great sub. Ch- Chicharito. Jimenez in there. <sighs> Chicha- Antuna. Why is Jimenez playing? Dude, he like, can't freaking move and you still sub him in. He didn't do anything. Para que llamas al pinche argentino si ni lo vas a usar, güey. Edson Alvarez coming out, the best player. I mean, I, I get the move. Not free kick. But no one there to like. But nobody. That is exactly what Raul Jimenez is supposed to do. Mm-hmm, but that he's, he's is exactly slow, what Raul there. Jimenez is supposed to do. They're, they're, they didn't tighten those screws up in there. Look at that. There's three players. There's two players, the Michael uh, Michael Jordan, uh, and then the guy that's flat footed there, and three Mexico players. Yeah. No. Man. And none of you could have reacted. No, like, the World Cup is over. The World Cup is over. Soccer dude. is over for Mexico. There's a reason why I don't watch... I don't watch Liga MX. I think Alexis Vega stays in Chivas. I don't, I, don't, I don't see the point. I'm a Mexico fan through and through. I will support. I will live. I will die. I will cry. I will suffer Again. with the Mexico nas- Mexican national team. But I need to I need to know these players, and and 
the way the setup is for Liga MX, yeah, it's just not enticing. Twenty foreign players in the team and shit. With four, and that's why I'm a Chivas supporter. And, and you know what? Props to Pachuca. They won the title and they had a lot of Mexican players in that. Kevin Alvarez and Luis Chavez win, being two of those stars. There were some other players that should have been called out, like uh, El El Guzman, Victor Guzman, like Pocho, like mm-hmm. bro, fucking call him up instead of Charlie. Like he had a better tournament than Charlie. Like what? What? And this is a hundred percent to blame on Tata, I think. And you said partly because there's other like cool there's other involved. factors. Yeah, there's other sure. factors. And, but Tata and makes the decisions. You saw this lineup. I told you before the game. This lineup is good. Mm-hmm. Fuck Gallardo too. Why the fuck is Gallardo playing all the minutes in the World Cup when you have younger talent like Arteaga get ready to go? How many times did Gallardo? You were like, dude, why are you still letting him through like that? Like, no. He doesn't have what it takes anymore. You shouldn't call him up. He had a great 2018 World Cup, and that was it. He moved to Monterrey, and that was it. <sighs> That's Martinoli. Martinoli is all of us. We are. We tr- we still had to work. We still had to go do a work function. Even after this first goal from uh, Saudi Arabia, Mexico still needed just one. Yeah. There it was still time. Enough. It wasn't enough. Um, it's very sad to see this because... Like, the U.S. is better than the, than the Mexico in soccer. Still, I still don't want to. Uh, the U.S. is better than Mexico in soccer. I still. It's called soccer. Whatever it. your stupid jokes are, it, it's called soccer. Yeah, I get it. I, I'm, I'm, ha- I'm happy. People are happy because they're happy. Not b- the reason why they're happy. No. Mexico is 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 done. I thought Unless something happens drastic, you have to get that federation bullshit scrubbed. You have to get the 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 system, the 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 academies, the the, the way that children are playing, the the way that that you format it, the way that you don't do pay to play, like the way that you don't do corruption with with some of the players. Oh, I want my little nephew to play, but here's some money. Like, I live that. I live that. Where. And this is just the macrocosm. Like, or, or I was in La Liga, in La, La, La Selección de Baja California, but and the best goalkeeper. But because somebody had money, they put a, this kid ahead of me in second. I wasn't the best goalkeeper, but he sure as hell was nowhere near a goalkeeper. And even from then, you just pay to play. And and I'm not saying that's that's, uh, that's across the board, but that's a lot of of, of, of soccer in Las Canteras and and. And and shit like that, like here's here's my guy, yo, like go for it, and 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 it's just it's just sad, like it's just there's no structure, like the U.S. has made. The U.S. has figured it out, and they are going to be a powerhouse in 2026. Mexico is lucky that they qualified for free, for free next World Cup, because if they had to fight for it, I don't think they 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 they'd have I think a chance, a lot can and they years, they so. would not. They would not learn a lesson. They're not going to learn a lesson because of this. Be- I wanted them to not score because that way Mexico doesn't score because you didn't make the I right mean, selection. Not making it out of the group is it's pitiful. Disaster. It is pitiful, and you know and what? Saudi this, Arabia this shouldn't have won. Does. Lewandowski and 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 company make it through. Hooray! Hurrah! Good for you, Messi. Had Messi scored. I mean, we can still see a Messi Ronaldo final now. I, 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 uh, fine. I, like I soccer wise, anymore. sure. Like it's fine. But the World Cup is over, as far as I'm concerned. The USA, if they beat, if they beat, if they beat Netherlands in the round of 16, uh, something it's, that it's, Mexico it's, couldn't. It's, it's, again, it's that's just even cementing, more group. cementing the US being better because they're they're the underdogs. The US is the underdogs. Yeah, <clears throat> and I don't, I don't want to talk about whatever. Not my team right now, but. Mexico made confirmed. A lot of Tony Sanchez will become a U.S. fan. Sad, depressed, upset, and 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 people <sighs> won't care as to why, how to fix it. We're in the World Cup, the next World Cup for sure. But after that, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, I fix it, dude, because this is this is ridiculous. ridiculous. I mean, I told you this as a Chivas fan. We got we've gone through this pain so much and. The only difference thing is that we're all suffering now who together. Fixes who fixes this? I mean, who do you call? Like, there's no one. Like, I was like, telling you, like Almeida, uh, Al Turco Mohamed, Ferretti. Like, again, but that's just a coach. Like, that's not, 
that you're not you're not going to the root of the issue. Like, like I wonder if like there's just people the in the federation symptoms. that actually tell the coach, no, you need to call Raul Jimenez. No, you need to call this player. No, you need to call this player for sure. And if not, oh, we're not going to pay you what we owe you or shit like that. I, I mean. There has to be some shit like that to explain why Tata acted like this, right? Sponsors. He's not, he's, I don't, he's not that big of an idiot. Like, he's a professional coach. There's no way people that like us that do this all, all across the freaking world in Mexico know more than a freaking professional World Cup coach. Like, I, I, like that's so. It shouldn't be that It shouldn't, that shouldn't be like that. It shouldn't be that hard. It shouldn't like, be it's that hard. fucking ridiculous, dude. How the fuck do we all know? Oh, you don't start out chat You might do better in that midfield. How is it that we know that, but he wouldn't be able to realize that? What? Like, unless there's someone in the Federation with a gun pointed to, their head, to his head saying, you need to start this player and this player. Like, I don't see any other explanation to that, man. I don't. That generation is over. Guardado's out. Ochoa's, was, Ochoa's out. last World Cup. <coughs> Guardado. Herrera. <coughs> Um, Henry Martin will probably Martin play. Will World, play. I mean, <clears throat> but I mean, those one. three are just the historic ones, right? Hector Moreno's probably done. Yeah, yeah. Gallardo's done. He's already 28, 29. Jurgen Dam is done. <laughs> Dam. Uh, it's it's Chucky by the next World Cup. He's gonna be like twenty nine. Chucky's probably. I mean, he'll still twenty nine. He'll, no, he'll still make it. He'll still make it, but. You think Tecatito would have made a difference? No. Because really. he would have misplayed him. Mm-hmm. He would have misplayed him. Yeah. Um. Mexico is out of the World Cup. It sucks. Before the round of 16. There's still a lot of processing that needs to happen. We still need to process a lot of things. Like, we didn't get to be as sad as we could. We're at work. A smile through the pain. Yeah. Laugh it off. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, yeah. It's no big deal. It's just soccer. I'm going to go home, put my head on my pillow, cry myself to sleep. Like, share, subscribe. Mexico's out of the World Cup. La decepción mexicana.